Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Outlaws by Local Bags. Let's go ahead and break these bags down. We'll start with the materials. Slow side on these Outlaws is the Surefire material. Same size Surefire uses, a very popular material. It's a very player friendly material, very versatile. Uh, five speed, it's maybe on the slower end of the five speed, but still I call it, still call it a five speed material in there. So five speed on the slow side. Fast side, this is the same fast side Surefire uses. It's the same fast side you find on the, on the Game Changer. It's a, it's a eight and a half speed material. Uh, it's fast, somewhat controllable. It, it's a wonderful material for pushing and collecting bags. So you're looking at a five, eight and a half. Exact same material combinations you find on the Surefire. So if you're familiar with that, this is this is Locals version of that, that bag. Template wise, medium template. Uh, it, it kind of right down the middle there. It's got a medium amount of fullness in it, so it has some flop, but it's not overly floppy, right? You, you, you know, so most people are going to like the way the bag the back feels. It's not, I think, not super floppy, not super full. It's it's a it's that alien fill, which is which is a mixed fill. Come to find, you got a mixture of flat along with some small beads in here. I, I love a mixed fill. I really like the fill they're using in this bag. Uh, it gives it. You also have a great hand feel. You got enough fill to grab a hold of the bag. You know, you can stabilize the bag. It's not flopping around. Uh, you don't feel, you know, the fill is very fluid feeling. It's a wonderful hand feel in this bag. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I'm surprised that they have this bag and the Warrior in their lineup. I reviewed the Warrior not that long ago. I, I got those right here. Uh, the, the big difference in these two bags is the fast side, and it's the same material. They just use different sizes of the material. So, you know, this is the Pro Sniper fast side. This is the Surefire fast side. Again, same materials. They just flipped them over. Same slow side on these bags, same fill. Um, I would say the template, to me, the Warrior feels feels ever so slightly bigger, just a hair bit bigger, but I don't know if it's enough to notice. Like, it, like if I didn't put these bags on top of each other and stack them, I don't know if I would notice there was a difference in them. Um, you know, so, and that could just be a little bit in the way they're broken. Maybe, maybe, you know, these broken a little flatter than these, you know, there could just be a difference, a variation in just the bags. You get a different set of bags each and you may find the outlaws are a little bigger than the, the were. I think there's, it's not enough of a difference to really say that one is bigger than the other. So same bags. It's just a preference of fast sides, whether you want this pro sniper fast side or you want the surefire fast side. Personally, for me, I think I would go with this fast side just because I like to have slow more control. I don't have a problem pushing. I don't mind throwing a little harder, so I don't need the extra speed. So I would rather have just the ever slightly more control that you get with this material. And I, I would go with the outlaws, but you know, the warrior, both, both are solid bags. I like, I mean, I, if you watch my review of the warrior, I really like that bag. I enjoy throwing that. This is no different. Um, if I let's go ahead and jump in, we'll, we'll talk about playability of this bag. And it's very similar to the Warrior, right? When I talked about that, it, it, it's a versatile bag. You know, on 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 dry, fast boards, you can run hole for hole and 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 just outrun your opponent, outscore your opponent. But this material in normal conditions, you can you can play a control style game. You can throw blockers up there. This material is very controllable, so you can throw a blocker up there. And because the bags are not or have enough fullness, you can get aggressive and put that blocker over on your opponent's side come through slick side use clip a corner clip a corner take them in they're very collectible bags I, I i really enjoy bags like this because i like to throw blockers even if i don't want to play a full dirty style game i like to throw a blocker every now and then it may not always be the first bag maybe it's the second bag i really love when i when i'm playing someone who likes to go hole for hole is throw a third bag blocker i just love that third bag blocker because it puts especially if your opponent has first bag because now they have one bag left to throw they either got to throw hard enough to push through and follow, or they got to take a chance to go around or try to shoot it. You make them make a decision, hoping they'll make a mistake, and they don't have another bag to to clean that mistake up. So I always love putting that third bag blocker. And this that that's the kind of style of bag I like to, a game likes to play with. This bag is first two bags in the hole, third bag blocker. Make them make a decision, and then I can I can capitalize if they make a mistake. And if they don't, and clean it up, then I can clean this up. Or if they clean it up, I can just go in for the for the wash, the 12, you know, four bag wash, 12 point wash and move on to the next round. So I love a bag like this, but you know, if you like to play a, a dirty style game, you can do it with this bag, you know, especially if you don't like throwing carpet, you can definitely do it with this bag. The, the, the biggest issues with this bag, and it's always, anytime I talk about the Surefire material, I, it, there's three, three negatives to it. It's not the bag, it's just the material. One, humidity, right? If you get any moisture on the boards from humidity whatsoever, this bag starts to become unplayable. It just starts to slow way down to where you can't, you can't, it won't slide and you can't collect it. If a bag stops, it's done. You're not collecting it. It's just on the board as a blocker. Uh, the other thing is this bag will kick because because you have that that stickier material on here and you have a little bit of a bouncy feel. It's not a real bouncy feel, but you have some beads in there. When you put so, when you, if you don't throw a flat bag, the bag's going to hit, it's going to kick. Again, I talk about time and time. It's a controllable kick. So if you have a consistent tilt on your bag, you can play the kick. So if you know, if your bag flight is the same every time and you know your bag's going to kick 
two inches, three inches, four inches off to one direction or other. You can adjust your landing spot and you can play that no problem whatsoever. That kick does also mean that this bag is very cuttable, so you can throw cut shots. So that's the trade-off, right? If you got a bag that, that kicks, or if you got a bag that doesn't kick, it's a bag that's not very cuttable. So that's, that's kind of the And then the last thing is this material has a very has a tendency to, to hang on the hole. And you'll see it in some of these videos where the bags are will hang on the hole. They'll get up there and slide. And if they if I don't have enough speed or momentum to keep the bag going to come back in, it'll catch the hole and then set and set. And, and once it sets, as long as it's on the front or the sides, very collectible side bags, you could come off of the cut, bring them in, step out on your side, come collect them. Very collectible bags if they're there, if they're on the sides. It's when they get on the back edge, the back corners, you've got to get a little more aggressive because just sliding bags in the hole is not going to take them in. You've got to come with an airmail drag or just or get aggressive or just abandon whatsoever. So those are the three things, three negatives of the bag. But, you know, the control you get with this bag, the, the versatility you get with this bag, um, the, the the shot shaping, because like I said you can you can cut it. It's, I think this is a bag for average to average players. You can roll this or flop this bag. So there's a lot of positives you get. So, you you, you know, again, the zero sum game, if you've got positives, you got to have negatives. They, they got to balance out. And that's what that, that's what you get here. Again, I don't have an issue with it. If you've thrown the Surefire, if you played that that style game with this material, and a lot of companies have that. A lot of, almost every company uses material one side or the other. And so you're probably familiar with it. But it, all in all, I saw a bag. I put a lot of bags in the hole with it. I had blast flown it. Throwing it, I love, you know, I love a bag that that has versatility to it, right? I, I love I love mixing things up. Always love keeping my opponent off balance. You know, I don't want them to know what I'm doing, right? If you get up there with a, with a, with a fast bag, they know you're going to go hole for hole because you can't throw a blocker. If you get up there with a really sticky bag, they know you're going to play a dirty style game because the bags just aren't designed to slide in the hole. So when you pull out a bag like this, you walk off the boards, you know, your opponent doesn't really know what you're going to do, and you can change it up. You can go two or three rounds running hole for hole and then change it up and do two or three rounds of playing dirty or mix it up however you want and really keep your opponent guessing to what's going on and keep them out of a rhythm. And that's what this bag is wonderful at doing. And and, and it's really, it's really, it's it's a wonderful bag. I, you know, I, I love throwing it. I, I love the Warrior as well. I talked about the two. Again, to me, I think this fast side, just just ever so slightly more controllable, I would take the Outlaws over the Warrior. But if you're not, if you don't like throwing hard or if you have, if you tend to have, uh, a little bit more of an issue of pushing through bags to collect. Go with the warrior. It's got that little bit faster, fast side. It's going to it's going to help you. You know, this fast side can help you collect a little easier than this will. Again, we're t we're I'm nitpicking here. There's it's just ever so. I mean, this is probably a nine speed, and I call this an eight and a half. They're right there at the same, um, but there is a little bit of a difference to them. So that that's the biggest difference of two bags. So at least we have availability. Local has a website, localbagcompany.com. I'll put a link description for you to go check out. These bags run, I think it was like $69.99. So 70 bucks for a set of bags. I, didn't, I think I forgot to mention, these are ACL Pro Stamp. These are the 2023 Pro Stamp on these, but I, I'm pretty sure it'll be Pro Stamp for 2024 as well. I don't know if there'll be any changes. If I find out there, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but for Pro Stamp, ACL Stamp bag, 70 bucks. I think it's like, 10 12 dollars shipping so 80 85 dollars all in is a is a great price it's 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 on the cheaper side of acl stamp bags which is one reason why i'm really liking local i just i think their price point is perfect for most players you you know you can you can afford to buy a set of bags to try them out you're not paying 120 150 dollars to buy a set of bags that you may or may not like you know you're paying 80 bucks and if you don't like it you're you know you you, you can you, you're not losing as much all right anyway i Great deal. Check them out. Uh, if you throw in the Outlaws, I'd love to hear your feedback. Like them, don't like them. Let me know. You know, what's your favorite? If you throw in both the Warrior and the Outlaws, let me know which ones do you prefer. I always love hearing your guys' feedback. So I thank you guys so much for support, and I thank you for watching.